In the past, the value of money was determined by gold. This was stable, since the gold reserve on the planet is limited. But then a clever soul invented paper money that was practical and affordable. When a country's money had been spent, the government could simply print new bills. That's how inflation was created. Despite a huge amount of banknotes, people were suddenly poor again. About 10 years ago, a clever inventor came along by the name of Satoshi Nakamoto. He had a genius idea, the virtual currency Bitcoin. And he developed a method so that the currency wouldn't lose value, but would instead gain value. The initial hype surrounding Bitcoins was followed by consolidation, the currency having grown continually. Just like gold or coal, Bitcoins are mined, albeit virtually. That's why people refer to mining. Satoshi Nakamoto developed an ingenious mechanism. The amount of Bitcoins is mathematically limited and thus remains constantly stable in value. A maximum of 21 million are allowed. The biggest part of the processing power of the Bitcoin network goes towards solving a cryptographical formula. The proof of work. This guarantees the value and prevents theft. Only by creating additional blocks in the blockchain are new Bitcoins able to be generated. Theoretically, each individual user could take part in mining with the right software and hardware. But it requires a lot of time and money. Therefore, it takes a long time before success is evident. It's more practical to invest in an existing virtual mine. This is where professionals are working with cutting-edge technology. Bitcoins are quickly generated with this mining. Whoever enters the Bitcoin mining market in good time profits from the power of a professional prospector and creates a crisis-proof store of value with a high return.